please become a Patreon supporter to keep Pocket Bios commercial free and subscribe for more Pocket Bios. Francis Hopkinson was born on September 21st, 1737 in Philadelphia, province of Pennsylvania, British America. Hopkinson began to play the harpsichord at age 17 and during the 1750s, hand copied songs and instrumental pieces by many European composers. He is credited as being the first American born composer to commit a composition to paper with his 1759 composition, My Days Have Been So Wondrous Free. Hopkinson received a Bachelor of Arts degree in 1757 from the College of Philadelphia and a Master degree in 1760 from the same institution. He was secretary of a commission of the Provincial Council of Pennsylvania, which made a treaty between the province of Pennsylvania and certain indigenous tribes in 1761. He entered private practice in Philadelphia, province of Pennsylvania from 1761 to 1766. He was collector of customs in Salem, province, New Jersey in 1763. Hopkinson spent from May 1766 to August 1767 in England in hopes of becoming commissioner of customs for North America. Although unsuccessful, he spent time with the future Prime Minister Lord North, Hopkinson's cousin James Johnson, and the painter Benjamin West. Francis Hopkinson married Anne Borden on September 1, 1768. They would have five children together. He was collector of customs for Newcastle, Delaware Colony from 1772 to 1773. He resumed private practice in Bordertown, province of New Jersey from 1773 to 1774. He was admitted to practice before the bar of the Supreme Court of New Jersey on May 8, 1775. He was elected an Associate Justice of that court in 1776, but declined the office. He became a delegate to the Second Continental Congress from June 22, 1766 to November 30, 1776. The Declaration of Independence became official when Continental Congress voted for it on July 4. Signatures of the delegates were not needed to make it official. The signatures of 56 delegates are affixed, however, the exact dates when each person signed it has long been the subject of debate. It is unknown when Francis Hopkinson signed the declaration, but he did it as the New Jersey representative. On Saturday, June 14, 1777, the Second Continental Congress adopted Stars and Stripes as the first official national flag of the newly independent United States, later celebrated as Flag Day. The resolution creating the flag came from the Continental Marine Committee. Hopkinson became a member of the committee in 1776. Hopkinson is recognized as the designer of the flag of the United States, and the journals of the Continental Congress support this. Hopkinson wrote a letter to the Continental Board of Admiralty, mentioning several patriotic designs he had completed during the previous three years. One was his Board of Admiralty seal, which contained a shield of seven red and six white stripes on a blue field. Others included the Treasury Board seal, seven devices for the Continental currency, and the flag of the United States of America. There is no known sketch of the Hopkinson flag in existence today. However, he incorporated elements of the two flags he designed in his rough sketches of the Great Seal of the United States and his design for the Admiralty Board seal. Hopkinson was nominated by President George Washington on September 24, 1789 to the United States District Court for the District of Pennsylvania. He was confirmed by the United States Senate on September 26, 1789 and received his commission the same day. His service was terminated on May 9, 1791, due to his death in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, of a sudden epileptic seizure. He was 53 years old at the time. He was interred at he was interred in Christ Church burial ground in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, United States of America.